disbelief back in England. This England team have the chance to put themselves on a par with the heroes of the World Cup of 1966. It is the World Cup final for England in Moscow, and it's live. This is the big day, the biggest day in world football. The World Cup final, it only comes round once every four years, and the prize is to be the top country in the world game. It's a brilliant setting, the Luzhniki Stadium in Moscow, and we're lucky to be here, we being myself, Martin Tyler, and Alan Smith. Yeah, we certainly are lucky. You think back to previous finals, they've not all been absolute entertainment. I think this one will, given the two sets of strikers on show. I've got to say, I think there'll be goals out there. Number seven, Jordan Henderson. And now it's time for the national anthems. Harry Kane. Have a look at the England lineup now. Joe Hart starts in goal. Danny Rose starts with Kyle Walker in the fullback positions. Eric Dyer plays with Delhi Alley in the centre of the park. In attack, Harry Kane starts together with Marcus Rashford. Thank you. There's a real group mentality in this lineup about pressing the opposition into making mistakes and cashing in on it straight away. Well, it takes a lot of energy, a lot of motivation. It's easy to drop off, and when you do drop off that really aggressive closing down, that's when it can fall down. The two teams that have fought their way through all the way into this final here in Moscow today. What an occasion, what a thrill for them. And what a thrill for us, it's underway! Yeah, the biggest day for each and every one of these players, the biggest day in their careers. Attacking well here. He's got his shot off now. Oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. Silva. Henderson. Now Marcus Rashford. This could be a chance. Hey! He scored! To put his side in front in the 2018 World Cup final. What a goal! Well, he's laid down a marker and so has his team. He can't have scored many better than this with the bend he's imparted onto the ball. Well, give him credit. You could see exactly what he set out to do there and executed it perfectly. England in the lead. Martinez Rodrigo moving forward with some danger look very good indeed but the move has broken down it's Eric Dyer. Kyle Walker hey Rashford with the and here's the shot shot blocked here Thiago
John Stones. Well, it is amazing that these two teams have got to the World Cup final. It does show the breadth of talent around the globe. Yeah, it is the beauty of football. And shoots! Oh, that was an opportunity for him to score again. And well played by the goalkeeper, who this time got the better of him. Yeah, good use of the legs and his positioning really did narrow down the angle. Here's Dyer. On the attack here. And across comes Sergio Ramos. Back to what we were about to say about this final in Patao. These sides have really fought their way through against the odds to get into an arena where the whole world will be watching today. And it's how they handle that, they'll be well aware. Of... The shot's up! Hit the post! Silva. Go. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. And he could get away here. Thiago! And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Now Marcus Rashford. Hey! With Deli Alley. Alley! Well, that could be the insurance goal here. That little bit of daylight that they were after. They're in fine fettle today. Well, they're creating chances for fun out there. And the uh, opposition's really got to tighten up. Restarting at 2-0. Goal for the holes. Tiago. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Kane. Here's Dyer. Deli Alley. Kane. Shot off. Oh, charge down. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Deli Alley. Yeah. Return pass. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Kane! Goalkeeper hangs on. Sergio Busquets. Jordi Alba. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Now the shot! Well, the odds were against him, I think, from that position, and he's not close. He never looked up there to see if he had a pass on. Now Rashford. Here's a got to be. England's corner. In goes the corner. 
refuses to punch here, the goalkeeper. Good technique. Targeted. He's got his shot off now. Proper tackle, that. Dele Alley. Rose. Jordan Henderson. Now Marcus Rashford. Here's Sterling. There's still a chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. Sergio Busquets. Here's Dyer. It's a good place to win the ball here. And there goes the whistle for half time. The scoreline is 2 0. Big game with big pressures on the players, but they've responded well, haven't they? They're in front at half time. Yeah. But the danger, as always, when you are so close to glory, is that uh, you get a little nervous. They've got to avoid that in the second half. Attacking well here. He's got his shot off now. Well saved by the goal. Ready to go, and the second half is underway of the World Cup final. And England with this narrow lead at half time. Yeah, certainly played well in that first half. England just got to be careful they don't clam up now and just try and hold what they have. I don't think that would serve them well. Rashford, great goalkeeping. Corner for England. Corner. This is a good opportunity. Sterling. Oh, that shot's blocked very quickly. Sterling. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Javi Martinez. Jordi Alba. And it's a good attack, this by Spain. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first... I would be happy with that first 45 minutes. It was a good goal from him, good overall performance, actually. Here's Ali. Now Marcus Rashford. Henderson. Rashford. Ali! That is one of the great saves. Had no right to stop that. Had no right to get a hand on it. What a stop. Jordi Alba, Javi Martinez, anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Stones, Dele Alli. Well, they are in the lead and they are on the ball, but in their own half at the moment. Now Kane, nice interplay between the two of them. Rashford with the ball now. Deli out, shots on here. And they blocked it then. Tackle here. Javi Martinez. Well, maybe the counter attack is on here. Rodrigo. Here's Isco. And he's in. An opportunity to help their chances now. this quick 
counter-attack against the run of play. Yeah, I mean, they had to uh, stick together there, come under a lot of pressure, but with the pace in the team, that was always likely. Off we go again, 2-1. Goal for the visitors. Number 21, David Silva. Here's Sterling. Here's Dyer. Getting forward well as a team now. And shoots! Oh, charge down. Thiago. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Here's Isco. Rodrigo. Thiago. Thiago. It's a fine stop. A full stretch from the keeper to turn that aside. Here's Dyer. Deli Alley. Bill Jones. Here's Alley. It's Eric Dyer. Rose. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Ali! Oh! They lead by two now. Took the chance nicely. And that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment the goal wherever you look at it it was very well taken <laughs> three one the score line as we restart the game Always thoughtful, Thiago, always poor, Martin. Spain get the throw. There's no criticism from these supporters. Uh, they've enjoyed what they've seen today, and it doesn't always pan out that way. Being a football supporter can be quite hard yards. Well, it can indeed, so you've got to enjoy the good times, and today has been one of those occasions. Well, that could be an important moment. That would have got them right back in the match. Well, I think that miss could cost them in this game. Coming onto the pitch, number six, Iniesta. Number eight. Sometimes you see players on a good day and sometimes on a not so good day. Every every time I see this lad play, it's a good day. <laughs> Taking him off now. Yeah, he's one of those buoyant personalities. Doesn't tend to get down too easily. That's an important trait in a forward. Walker. Vardy. Deli Alley. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. And now Iniesta. Carvajal. Quick into the tackle. And the result is going to be a throw. Deep. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. Ross Barkley this turnover could be costly against a side that can break like this Kyle Walker could whip it in from here and there's the cutback a World Cup goal for England well persistence has paid off good football leading up to that 
Well, this is rubbing salt in some pretty gaping wounds here. Well, they just won't let up, will they? They're going to go to the final whistle. And here is another angle on that goal. A very comfortable margin for victory. Can't really be any comeback in the time that we've got left with such a difference between the two teams. Good, strong tackle. John Stones. Sterling. Great interception. Here's a chance to try to get the ball in behind. A low ball into the box. Vardy. And the time to be... Oh, he could be in. Shots on him. Back out of the bar. Probing the pass. Tackle goes in. Buddy! What a brilliant goal! And it's a substitute who scored. He's uh, definitely come on to try and do that. And he's made his manager very pleased. Well, that really is rubbing salted to the wounds. It's been a one-horse race out there today. Well, disappointment for the losing team, but I'm afraid the winners deserve... Don't often get games like this at this particular level, but... So one-sided. Well, we're in the last few minutes now, and the die has been cast in this game, really. 20, Jamie Vardy. England are world champions for only the second time. Linked with 1966 now is 2018. Well, I never thought I'd be here to commentate on such a moment. They have finally exercised the demons that they suffered so often from when it came to the big day. Thoroughly deserved winners, England. Against their names, in football history, long after they've gone, it will say, world champion. There's no higher accolade. No, and it's difficult to argue that they're not deserved winners in this competition. To a man, they gave it their all out there. Champions of the world, the best feeling in the world. They're on top of the world. There's a real togetherness amongst those players, and they've needed it at times. They've came through some sticky periods in this competition, but it was all worth it, wasn't it? Sharing it with the supporters, and they'll know where their families are as well. Forever linked with Moscow, forever linked with Russia forever linked with the FIFA World Cup. And they've needed those fans at times, they've stuck with them. And quite rightly, they acknowledge that support. They will not want this day to end, but they will get some souvenirs of it now as the photographers gather for these prime pictures of the winners of the FIFA World Cup 2018. Now Marcus Rashford. This could be a chance. Kane! Yeah! And he's in. An opportunity to have their chances now. 
could whip it in from here. And there's the cup.